Good morning. Welcome to Charlene Vickers TV. I'm your host, Robert Chaplin, and I'm here to tell you that Charlene Vickers is holding the camera, and she's awesome. Charlene Vickers makes the beer box moccasins, and I've got to admit, out of any piece of traditional handicraft I've ever seen, beer box moccasins are maybe the finest thing I've ever seen. They're amazing. They incorporate traditional elements, along with, along with a, a, a witty commentary on, on wasp, waspish notions of colonization. Alrighty, there we go. When on a Greyhound bus you ride, careful who you sit beside. There's been folk up and died, oh headless, Tim McLean. The story of your end is something brutal to explain. Decapitation by a man with voices in his head, ate your eyes and left your brain. Oh, headless, Tim McLean. Your headless ghost is riding on a greyhound bus again. Blindly rolling down the aisle, mile after bloody mile. And everywhere the greyhound's been and everywhere it goes again. Oh, headless, Tim McLean. Headless Tim McLean. There's quite a lot of ground for haunting when the Greyhound is your home. At each and every stop and in the stations you do roam. Riding on the open road there's times you deeply frighten us. When your head and body find themselves each on a different bus. Oh, headless Tim McLean. Headless Tim McLean. <laughs> your headless ghost is riding on a Greyhound bus again. Stagger on and blindly find a seat. Keep riding till you are complete. Everywhere the greyhound's been and everywhere it goes again. Oh, headless Tim McLean. Headless Tim McLean. Must be a celebrity. I gotta take a picture first. When on a greyhound bus you ride, be careful who you sit beside. There's been folk who up and died. Oh, headless Tim McLean. Headless Tim McLean. And that's it? <laughs> that's it. All right. Oh, are you going to like be an exorcist? Yeah. Can you, can you like turn totally around? Yeah. <laughs> when all the great hell bus you ride, careful who you sit beside. There's been folks up and died. Oh, headless Tim McLean. Your headless ghost is riding on a Greyhound bus game. Riley rolling down the aisle, miles, bloody miles. Everywhere the Greyhound beat, and everywhere it goes again. Oh, headless Tim McLean. There's quite a lot of ground for haunting when the Greyhound is your home. At each and every stop, and in the stations you do roam. Riding on the open road, there's times you deeply frighten us. When your head and body find themselves each on a different bus. Oh, headless Tim McLean. Headless Tim McLean. Headless Tim McLean. Headless Tim McLean. Uh, on and blindly find a seat. Keep riding till you're complete. Everywhere the day out And everywhere it goes again. Oh, headless Tim McLean. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Bellapalooza. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this park is great. It's not too hot, it's just right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of feel like walking over that garden and like, the on the grass because that really... Oh, this that here? Tastes I use it almost every day. I know and people have been fun.
It was really sad too because after he got his big success, William Wharton, I was talking about William Wharton. William Wharton, after he got his big success, um, his daughter, William Wharton's a really cool guy by the way. He, he was in World War II, he got shot, he got out. He got a scholarship. He got a scholarship to um, UCLA. He learned to write, and then he taught for a while. And then, but he, he didn't really like being a teacher, so he 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 wanted to be a painter. So he moved his family onto a houseboat in Paris, and they traveled around Europe, barely making ends meet, painting with him painting. And his paintings were like wicked, like really good. And he he considered himself a painter, you know, until he was fifty. <laughs> and he got his first book published, but he said, I always consider, I, I consider writing a hobby, even though he had all these good books. And then, um, after he became successful,